and welcome Pisces, Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your uh, March 2022 tarot forecast. It is a general reading, so always trust yourself what resonate, leave what does not. And uh, big happy birthday to those of you having a birthday. Uh, I'm a Pisces as well, so my birthday is around about the middle of March. So uh, I hope you have a great celebration. Some of you might have had a birthday this week. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to dive straight in. So we're going to pull you essential energy from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. Oh, this is beautiful. You've pulled Love Matters. And uh, she's holding a peace stub on her hand. So it can certainly speak to your love relationships, to your intimate love relationships, those with your partner. Uh, you know, putting that time, that effort into your love relationships. It can mean with family, with friendships. Some of you, it may be that you're looking for new love. All right, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus for the month and then pull you lots of clarifiers using the uh, Sacred Destiny Oracle. Oh, you've pulled courage. So the courage to go after what it is that you want. Courage can also represent just having... Um, Faith, strength at this time, relying on your strength to get you through any challenges. And if you do enjoy my readings, make sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button. Absolutely helps my channel. Plus, my videos will come through to you in your feed. And uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram too. I'll do a, do a lot of daily stuff over there. You won't get on YouTube. Oh, you've also pulled adventures which is getting out of your comfort zone, doing new things. You might be exploring. You might be having fun with your friends, your partner. Some of you might be traveling. And also to take some quiet time in solitude. I mean, I know, you know, as Pisces, we always have to recharge our batteries, yeah, sometimes. And we can be quite empathetic or um, empathic, shall I say, which means we can feel the energies of others as well, which means we've got to protect our energy by taking some time out for self. On a need for you to take action. So balance what you're doing with also um, going forward, moving forward, going after your goals and dreams, being very action orientated. I'm going to amp this up with some crystals. All right, let's please some clarifies with the energy oracle. So, first up, we're going to have a look at courage. What is it Pisces needs to know? Okay. There's a little bit of anxiety and worry going on. So it's about not getting stuck in those states. Don't let it hold you back. Keep moving yourself forward, going after what it is you want. Often sometimes when we're trying to create things or move ahead, uh, you know, we can always worry about whether or not um, it's going to happen for us, the timing of things. What else does Pisces need to know? really taking its time here we go it's two here okay right next to that you got envy so some of you are in a state of lack right now can certainly speak to your finances possibly things that you want in your life that are not um, materialistically there right now and you've also got man holding a coin so guys it can certainly represent a boost to your finances it can represent a physical person to you whether you're a guy or a girl And you've got the angel of love, which is kind of interesting that it's come out with a man holding a coin. So, girls, it can certainly represent a love interest. Uh, if it is, they're financially secure. Um, if you're looking for love, it's certainly love going to touch your life in March. All right, let's, or February, March, uh, whenever you're watching this. All right, let's have a look at adventures. Okay. Again, you've got the message you need to take some time out for rest and relaxation. So um, there's very much a big message coming through about balance, Pisces. And you've also got appreciation, which is stopping to pause, smell the roses, live in the present moment, take time out for self, enjoy the beauty of life. Don't future pace yourself too much. And girls, to be the thinking woman, so being very balanced, grounded, rational, particularly when it comes to love, it's sitting directly under that. There's certainly a divine pair coming out here. Let's have a look at solitude. Oh, you've got these gorgeous caring connections in your life. Some of you certainly partnered up. 
uh, new love coming into your life. Um, the fact is related to solitude. It can certainly mean spending that one-on-one -on -one time with each other. And you've got the journey cards. So it can certainly speak to travel, little jaunts away, weekends away. And you've got adjacent possibilities. So lots of doors want to open for you, Pisces, whether that's related to your finances, your opportunities. And you've got man holding a heart, sitting directly under, thinking woman and the angel of love. Certainly love here. Love, love, love. All right, let's have a look at this bit of anxiety and lack going on. Oh, you've got the world here, which again can represent travel, relocating, uh, end of cycles, completing, brand new fresh starts, more prosperity, more prosper prosperous cycle coming into your life. And it's come out with the magician in the mirror, which is spirit saying you're ready to create whatever you want to create. Pisces, you just got to go for it. Uh, let's have a look at tank in action. Uh, you got yin and yang here. We're not surprised that's come out. Again, it's about balance, knowing when to do, when to receive. 22 is about taking a leap of faith, being in a state of wholeness and balance. You've got this beautiful, happy family around you. Whatever family means to you. Sometimes our friendships can be our family. So gorgeous um, connections in terms of closeness with family. Oh, so much here about love, Pisces. You've got the daughter romance opening. <laughs> on loudspeaker, darlings. On loudspeaker. And the daughter personal healing and happiness opening. So it can relate to your heart chakra. Uh, it can relate to physical health and well-being improving. And you've also got blossoming abundance. So whatever you're working on right now, it's gestating, it's in progress, not 100% there yet, Pisces. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the goddess guidance deck. Let's have a look at this top row. I'm all about having courage, going after what you want. Certainly love here. Love all over your reading. You've got issue of medicine, woman. So whether you're a guy or a girl, spirit saying you've got these um, beautiful healing abilities if you want to tap into them. That message resonates with you. You've also got our ISIS, past life, um, things coming up for you. So it can be things coming up from the past. I'm going to say in the context of your reading, Pisces, it's mostly past life gifts and talents coming back, but has possibly more insights into your past lives. Oh, and you've got Carly endings and beginnings. The old must be released so the new can enter. So a cutting of cords and ties to the past, opening up to new love, opening up to new opportunities. Let's have a look at adventures, which there's so much here about balancing, doing with resting, being very practical. Oh, you've got Vesta home. So a big focus on your home, doing up your home. Uh, relocating, buying, selling, moving, people moving in, moving out. Oh, you also got the message to be strong, to rely on your strength at this time. So some changes happening in your life where you really just need to rely on yourself, back yourself. And you've got Sarah's Vardy, the art. So doing creative things would be really good. Some of you may be already doing creative things. I have to say to you, you've been wondering where I am, my loves. Doing multiple things, darlings. Um, I've been doing a whole lot of creative stuff, which I love because I've been creative for a long, long time, right? If you want to check it out, I'll put a link on here. If you are creative and particularly in arts, so it can be it can be visual media, it can be music, it can be video. Uh, I started doing NFTs, started about a month ago. So I've got a new website. I'll pop the link on here. There's a lot of information on there if you want to do it yourself or if you're interested in NFTs. Uh, it's basically digitalizing your art on the blockchain so you can sell it with cryptocurrency. It's, it's sound, it is a lot simpler than what it sounds, my love. Mm -hmm. Go and check it out. All right, let's have a look at solitude. Uh, there's so much here about love, travel, doors opening. You've got Damara guiding children. So your children may need extra support and attention at this time your wisdom for those of you that have children. And there's absolutely prosperity coming in, Pisces. Um, universe trying to pour its abundance onto you. So if things have felt, felt a little bit lacking in March, things are going to turn around. Let's have a look at taking action, this beautiful, happy family. Physical health and well-being looking really good. Daughter love. 
opening big time. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got Bridget, don't back down, stand up for yourself and do what you know is right. So following your own path, Pisces, not listening to other people. And you've got Kunya and compassion. So being very kind and compassionate with others around you, they may need extra support at this time. And I need you to take a leap of faith. Hand in hand, we've got taken action, going after your goals, your dreams. On the bottom of the deck, you've got the message to watch your energy levels, yeah? Okay, let's put you some guidance from the uh, crystal reading deck, just a healing deck. Oh, you've got eight, eight healthy bodies. So certainly a focus on your health and well-being. Don't neglect your physical well-being. You've also got Azurite expanded awareness. So looking at things from a big picture view, don't get bogged down in negativity around lack. And you've got DFT's Mother Earth. So getting your feet out in Mother Earth, getting out in nature, particularly in relation to your physical body. Let's have a look at uh, doing some adventurous things. There's a whole lot here about being very practical, balanced, creative. Big focus on your home. Now, Spirit's calling for you to have faith and trust at this time that everything's going to be work out okay for you and you've got fluorite learning so some of you may be learning new things studying new things getting on different paths or new paths let's have a look at taking time out in solitude for yourself there's a lot here about your love relationships gorgeous love relationship here your children prosperity coming in oh, again you got the message to take action labradorite keep moving yourself forward keep working on what you're working on creating those abundance flows. And you've also got kyanite blue letting go. So you've really got to take time out for self as well, Pisces. For some of you, there's a little bit of stuff, not a lot, to let go from the past, to open up to lots of new beginnings, particularly in love. Um, but really it's about balancing what you're doing with time out for self. Okay, it's come out hand in hand with forgiveness, pink tourmaline. So some of you definitely have to just release some stuff from the past, I'm going to say may possibly be related to love that's old, to open up to this new love. Because oh, Spirit's saying when you do that, you're absolutely going to shine, Pisces, Ruby. Beautiful. Let's have a look at taking action, taking a leap of faith, going after what you want, all the doors opening for you. Now, Spirit's calling for you to be really flexible and patient at this time with the timing of things. <laughs> Darling, it's all over your reading. The Boji Stones balance, being in balance on every level. On the bottom of the deck, you've got courage again. So I'm going to say to you, what's channeling through, right, is some of you are working really hard um, on your goals, your dreams, and it may not be happening fast enough. There may be a little bit of hiccup to your money flow right now. Spirit saying don't give up. Have that courage, that strength. It's all going to turn around. Let's pull you some guidance from the messenger, Oracle. Mm. Again, you've got the message to challenge your perception. In the same row, you've got expanded awareness. So changing the way you're looking at things, seeing things in a more positive light, and do not fear the unknown, do not fear changes coming into your life. For some of you, it's related to moving home, relocating, new love. Oh, yeah, because as you say that, a new day dawns, brand new beginnings in your life. Going to bring more prosperity in for sure. And a time to seek your destiny and go after what you want. It's truly in alignment with you. Uh, going to pull you a few clarifiers from the beautiful Muse Tarot. Let's have a look at this top row, which is all about having courage at this time. What is it Pisces needs to know? Too many. Thank you. Yeah, you've got the ace of emotions, which is this beautiful watery energy. So, I mean, Pisceans, we love the water, right? We're a water sign. So you've got to get into that gorgeous, flowy energy, attracting, not chasing what you want, yeah? Knowing it's going to come to you. Just mm, come out hand in hand with temperance, which is all about balance, oh, darlings. Balance! <laughs> And you've got the Muse of Inspiration, which I love, which is your inspired ideas, being a visionary, uh, creating things on a global scale, some of you collaborating, working with others. And 
and you've got the emperor which is this beautiful go get go getting energy whether you're a guy or a girl right it's, um again there's people around her so um even though it's the emperor it's a feminine form which is kind of interesting uh certainly about collaborating with others you may be attracting public attention from all sorts of business organizations if you're working in your own business um it's that beautiful go-getter energy yeah all right let's have a look at we're gonna have a look at your chakra balance first There's certainly a big focus on your body oh your heart chakras come out so some of you just have to clear a little bit of stuff out of your heart chakra related to things that may have been disappointing in the past in love to open up fully to new love oh yeah because you got your lower back here which means there's attachments you need to release from self um, head over to the meditation playlist on my channel and there will, you'll find quite a few guided meditations there on releasing attachments. Try some of those. All you need to do is lay down and listen that easy. Yeah? Uh, you've also got family here. It's come out again. So spending time with your family, particularly those people you're close to. Let's have a look at your spiritual guidance, which is who you're connected to in the spirit realm right now to find gifts and talents. Oh, you've got the gift of a seer. Well, most Pisces do. So you can predict things. You can see things into the future. Um, certainly a visionary. Oh, you've got naturopathy here. So some of you may want to study that. And you've got the butterfly, which is all about transformation. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at life purpose guidance at this time. I've got to say, this should be super interesting. <laughs> Oh, you're a protector. So you can be a protector of Mother Earth, Mother Nature, the rights of others. Uh, natural therapies has come out sitting directly under naturopathy. So some of you may want to follow that path for sure. Double confirmation. And film and television's come out. So it's related to the butterfly. So some of you may be stepping out of your comfort zone and getting yourself in front of people in terms of expressing a your message, um, your wisdom, mm -hmm, whatever shape or form that takes. All right, let's have a look at uh, messages from your angels. Great reading, Pisces. Oh, you've got the unknown. This has come out for you twice now. Do not fear the unknown. It's a time of deep exploration and transformation. Unfamiliar familiar territory leads to new horizons. Wow. And do it now. Don't put it off any longer. Have courage. That's the third time that's come out. Listen to your intuition for it is the guiding voice of your soul. Go after what you want, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Just go for it, Spirit saying. And wisdom. Everything has a place and purpose. To be wise is to have great love, tolerance and compassion for all things. It's also coming out over on this side. So being very gentle with the people around you. They may be going through some stuff. Um, you may need to be that. I mean, Pisces are really good at lifting people up. Um, you may need to do that in March, yeah? All right, going to pull your crowning energy from the beautiful Pegasus Oracle. And let's see what you need to know, Pisces. Oh, beautiful. You pulled the descending Pegasus of the Violet Light. How gorgeous is that? Number seven, which can certainly represent healing. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Pisces. It says the bringer of blessings and protection, soul guardian Pegasus, conveys a clearing, a blessing and sealing of your crown chakra. This process protects you from any attempt by others to control you or derail your life path in this or any lifetime. This healing helps release any cords of attachment. Wow, isn't that interesting? It's come out. That may have blocked your freedom to pursue your life journey, so you may follow your spiritual path without interference. It also clears feelings of betrayal, distrust, or confusion in your relationship with your higher self and the universe, opening your crown chakra to your unique spiritual journey, which best suits your soul and only your heart can truly know. The gifts of this spiritual intervention include complete protection from people or past that do not benefit your soul development. This may involve removing opportunities or connections that would otherwise distract or disturb you, as well as increasing your deep awareness of how loved, blessed and safe you are. 
You can now heal from experiences of painful disconnection and open up to feeling held, inspired and guided by spirit. Allow the pure light of love to swirl around the top of your head and radiate out in all directions. As this takes place, a spiritual blessing of grace is bestowed to heal and support you in all ways. You're asked to offer any troubles of body, mind or heart into this light. You may trust that the worst is behind you and that you shall find your way free from concerns. Place your trust in the universe. A heartfelt prayer is being answered. Oh, my darling, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's all go high five each other down in the comments box below. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below. Make sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Take it easy, my loves. Have an amazing birthday month. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.